There's nothing new on the internet, right? There's nothing new. Nothing is new on the internet. Um, and it's very common for people to take content that they see on TikTok, on download. A lot of the apps let you download content now. Download content that you see that's funny and share it all around. You know, everyone does it. But the problem I have is with content vultures. They're a different and unique type of content thief. The reason why I call them vultures is because they are like the actual animals vultures. So let's talk about it. What is unique to vultures is that they prey on smaller, weaker animals that are defenseless, that are injured, and they're essentially waiting for them to die so they can pick at them um, and for their own nourishment. And the content vultures are larger creators. They have a larger platform and they poach content from quote unquote smaller creators or ones with less followers, less subscribers, less clout. And they use their content to help boost their brand, to help develop uh you know be their their you know their steam in their community whereas a larger platform so that's what makes them a vulture versus a content thief which is like an ordinary random person now here's the thing with the content vultures three different types of content vultures and i gave them names so the first content vulture um i call the platform poachers so those are the ones that will they're on they have a presence on various different platform and when they see something humorous funny that has gaining a little good traction that they like that they think their community would like over in another platform they just download it and here's the thing a lot of times they don't download it using the in-app tools the reason why if you download content from TikTok from Instagram, from YouTube, from Pinterest, um, from most platforms, even Snapchat, I think, the logo and the watermark that includes the handle of the creator downloads along with it. So when you take it from that platform from the next, anybody who watches that content on another platform, let's say, you know, I'm a big creator and I take it over, they're gonna know the original source. So if they found it humorous, they found it funny, they found it entertaining, they'll be able to go to the original owner and owner of that content and see other pieces of content they have and potentially follow them. And that's going to help them grow. That's why you're supposed to use that tool. The content vulture will use tools like Snapchat, Tick, and other apps that will remove the watermark. I've seen a really, really super, super large, I don't want to call her out, um, person uh, in, in, the, in the political space sphere who has a really popular Instagram account. And she, like purposely use those apps to remove the watermark and the person who created the content knows that their content is stolen a lot so the person who originally created the content they place the watermark smack in the middle of their content because they know their stuff is taken a lot and so they use those apps to scrape off the person's watermark so they're aware that that content belongs to somebody else but when they upload it onto instagram for example they didn't tag they didn't give mention of the original content creators you they're going to wait to other people who know that creator from their whatever place they got it from their the original fans of the creators to come in the comment section and say hey that's such and such tag them you know won't you tag them and then they'll tag them so it's like bad karma so don't do that if you're especially if you're a larger creator because what these smaller creators have is their social currency their commodity is their followers so they need more people to become aware of them so they can grow so they can have established brands so they can get more opportunities and that's the least you can do if you already have a large platform is put them on if you're going to bar their content for your clout is to give them credit and give them attribution that's why you're a content vulture because you don't do that so you either do it um either they either do it like um carelessly or negligently because they don't care because they can and they just like one extra step to give them one tiny extra step to give the credit or to tell their team make sure you credit the person or they're doing it purposely and intentionally because they know the other creators they're taken from doesn't have a large platform and they think that perhaps there's no overlap in the audience and maybe no one will know in which case that's even worse so the intentional culture content vulture are the worst <laughs> they're worse than the negligent ones so that is, I'll give your negligence a small little blight excuse. So that's the first one. The second type of content vultures is what I call the logo, what I, what I call them? The logo poachers. Those are the ones that would take, um, and this is kind of like the reverse. They usually take content from a larger platform, like um, a, a television show or a documentary or some other platform that's larger than theirs. And they would add their watermark or they would take someone's private photos of private pictures or private Instagram posts that belongs to the other people. They know that's not their content and they will put their logo smack in the middle of it. 
I understand that, you know, you found it and so you're taking it to your community, but that's not your content to, to mark. You are essentially um, establishing ownership to something you have no rights to own. So the minute I see a, a logo on a piece of content that looks like it came from someplace else, I'm going to go look for the original source and I'm going to use that version. I'm like, thank you for showing me this content. I appreciate you. But before I share it to another place, I'm going to make sure the original content owner or the original place gets 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 the credit and also i don't want your ugly logo on the thing i want the original picture the, I, mean, I did a there was a photo recently of of women um like black women uh, in their 40s and 50s who were interviewed by new york times um a little while ago and the, um some platform i found them on linkedin i think or maybe youtube uh and they downloaded the photo and they put their logo from or someone took it for someone and they added their logo so their logo of the person the thief now this logo is traveling along with this original New York Times photo and, and is getting from place to place to place to place. So they're going viral on content that they don't own whatsoever. And they have no rights to throw their logo on there. So the logo poachers are the second type of you know, content poachers. <laughs> and the third and final ones, I call them Millie Vanilli. So those are the kinds I feel like I fall prey to sometimes or I fall prey or they're on their prey maybe. I don't know. Where they will, well, and, 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 and there's no such thing as original content at, at all. That's why things like Chat GDP and Bard and Jasper and all these AI tools exist is because everything that potentially could exist has already existed. You might different spin on things, but for the most part, everything it already exists already. I understand that. So with the content Billy Vanilli, they will they'll follow a smaller creator and they'll they think they're brighter or smarter they like their points of view they're like oh this is interesting and then they will take notes and notice that and then it will go to their platform they have a larger platform and then they will essentially regurgitate what the smaller creator said as if it was their own original thought and they don't give credit for that me personally if I see content if I am inspired by another YouTuber by another creator by another platform by a news article wherever I source my information I say I got this from such and such I was watching a research report as a journalist because I have a journalism background you're supposed to credit your sources so from my journalism background I credit sources or of inspiration as a creator I take that journalistic integrity over to my creator space um, so I feel like everyone should do that. And the least you, so don't be a content vulture. So here's how you can avoid being a content vulture. There's three things you can do. The first thing you do, which is the hardest thing, is you can create your own original content. And, you know, that's, you know, get inspired by someone you see that does something well and put your own spin on it and make original content. But that's kind of hard and people don't have time. And maybe that's not your shtick. And maybe you just don't have the time and talent for that. I understand that. So two, you can go ahead and borrow other people's content, but attribute. Keep the watermark on there. Give them credit. That's the second thing. And the third thing you can do, which is the best thing you can do, is collab with them. You like their style. You like what they have to say. You like their interests, their, you know, their, their perspectives. You like how they do their skits. You like something about that. Invite them to your platform to speak to your audience or say we're going to do a collab. And then because you don't have the talents, you can borrow their talents. And what happens when you do that, one... I think sometimes people feel like if I introduce you to my audience, then I'm going to lose people. But it's not a pie. You're not going to lose people. And instead, your people is going to appreciate you for introducing you to this new people. So you're actually going to be, have better esteem in the eyes of your community. Two, you're also going to be seen as a supporter of fellow content creators. And then other content creators in a larger community is going to see that. And that's all good juju, good karma. You know, so that's also good. And then three, you just never know there's reciprocity. If When you put that person on and they acknowledge you at some point, let's say they do do well and they do go to the next level and then they do up, eventually rise up to your level. Maybe they even pass you, maybe, or they may have an opportunity and they get some chances and they will remember the time that you put them on. And so they may reach back and say, you know what, you were the first person to give me a chance. And I appreciate you putting me on your platform because after you put me on a platform, that's when my star started to rise. So I'm going to pull you up and bring you into the next opportunity. So that stuff, you can't just assume that people are small and be small forever. So if you have the opportunity to put them on put them on you know so that's just my rant and i feel like as a self-proclaimed advocate for the small creators i've been small forever and, and if, I, if i ever like do really seriously blow up i feel like i'm gonna remember my roots i'm still gonna be an advocate for the smaller creators for the personally up and coming because i remember these days of hustling and trying hard for years and years and years to grow and just trying different things and being frustrated and seeing other people say the same things as me but just growing faster for various different reasons i don't get to that 
and um and just spin you know spinning my wheels and things like that and trying different things and seeing what will stick so i'm gonna remember these days and so that's what i'm here for you i'm your advocate as a small creator to make sure that you in this content creator in this creator economy that you small creators are protected and i'm gonna call out the larger creators that are exploitative and just like vultures like don't be a vulture like you that's the worst thing you do and if you've been a vulture up in this point it's not too late to turn back your vulturous ways one you can go back to any content if you can if it's possible that you know the source of it could go ahead and give them credit it's not too late to give them credit that's the least you can do just go back and give people credit and two the next time in the future you see some content make sure you add attribution don't still don't strip off watermarks so going forward, you can change your ways. You know what I mean? And three, again, the collaborative options. It's always You can always easily, and they're not going to say no. And don't think of it as one-sided because you don't think like I'm pulling them up because again, like the things I said before, there's value to you in bringing somebody on your platform who has a less following, smaller, because you already know that there's value to their content. So you already know that by bringing them on, they have value. They have something to add. And if you are all about building your community, feeding your community, nurturing community, you should want to expose them to the same type of content that you enjoy. All right, that's my rant. I'm done. Again, this is part of my series, Roger's Rant. Um, and then I just throw up a nice thumbnail and then I just rant. So this is my second one. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, I want to invite you because this is my rant series. I told my sister I'm going to just rant and say whatever the hell I want to say. I'm going to just post this up. And so this is my series. I'm doing that this week. So if you like this, you want to see more rants. And I have other series here. I have How They Built This YouTube series. I have Dish on the creative platforms. I have Pinterest marketing stuff. I have YouTube. It's all in the digital content creation social media space for the most part. So if you're interested in that, your stick, you know, take it on because you're bound to see something filter through your feed that's great. And so you hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell. You'll, YouTube will let you know when I have a new video. And if you find it interesting and compelling, the thumbnails, I think I'm going to edit all my thumbnails to be more sexy. Click it and see what I got to say, see what's going on. And then, yeah, so in the meantime, in the meantime, you want to see some other rants, I think I'm going to go ahead and put these rants in an actual playlist. So watch the other rants right here.